What's going on, tubers and snackers? I'm Rumble, and welcome to our channel. And guess what? We're back on the Xbox 360, so let's get started. Do you remember when the Xbox 360 home screen looked like this? But instead, now it looks like this. And that was like a week ago. It's crazy, but yep, the store is gone. The store has been shut down and this is what we're left with here. So I think too many <laughs> probably looked a little bit weird at first, especially since the tiles are kind of squished a little bit. And when you put a game in uh, your disc tray, it looks like this. So, um, but I think overall my initial reaction was that things ran a lot faster and uh, I was able to uh, <laughs> load up things much faster. And to be fair, like they, you know, I'm sad the store is gone. You can't buy games anymore, but they got rid of a lot of a junk with it. You know, a lot of advertisements, a lot of stuff that that 360 didn't really have until I think the uh, Xbox One came out and they try to do updates. Um, I feel like it's kind of been running uh, pretty poorly for a while. So um, I'm not too sad about it other than the store, but I think a lot of people have talked about this lately too. And obviously has a natural reaction to it uh, when the store was shut down and all the changes and I think it's pretty cool too that people have found back roads into the store still to get some uh, some free stuff uh, I was actually able to grab a couple of free things too that I didn't even know um, so that was pretty cool but um, overall I think I'm pretty satisfied with what I got in the end and I'm gonna do that towards the end of this video kind of go through some of those last minute games that I picked up that I um, I probably had them on my wish list, but I didn't get around to showing all of it. Um, but I have probably mentioned a few of them in my previous videos. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as you can see here, my pins are still active. There's no um, no way to buy this anymore though. But there's some of these things I didn't, uh, some of these games that I didn't um, get around to buying or a DLC. But that's okay. I, anyway, I'm. You know, I'm very happy with this. Um, I should say though, like even if I made a couple of videos and it's nowhere near as many videos as a lot of uh, people on YouTube made in the months leading up to this. But um, I myself, you know, which is kind of ironic, was scrambling at like 2 a.m. on that Monday, uh, just buying and downloading stuff because uh, I was just trying to get everything done. And, um, and I realized, yeah, I waited until the last minute, uh, hoping for a sale as well that weekend, but it didn't happen, so I just ended up uh, buying what I felt was uh, was appropriate. But um, before we jump to the games, I um, wanted to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that people are talking about. The end of an era, which, you know, fine for the store. That's over right now. You can't buy games anymore, but people are saying that 360 is dead and all that stuff. But on the contrary, I think we're just getting started here. And uh, there's still lots of gaming to do on this console. And... Uh, so There's still a bunch of sections of this uh, dashboard that I still appreciate and still go into. Um, in particular, this one right here, because um, I'm I'm a big fan of stats and data, so and I'm very visual as well. So this always helps me to go in here and see, you know, how much you know, uh, how much do I have left to do basically, and uh, how much have I done? And it's always nice to go look at your accomplishments as well and. Uh, this to me is more, it brings more memories to me when I look at stuff like this than just picking up a case with a disc in it. Then I can probably tell more of a story looking at this stuff than I can holding up a, a case and then say this is this game and so so forth. But if I look at this, I know exactly which achievements I struggle with, what sticks out to me. And um, so I always love looking at stuff like this. and. And the artwork of the achievements too, I think are pretty cool to look at. Uh, and it's not, I know we have it obviously on the newer consoles too, but uh, I don't know, there's something special about this for me and and looking at, you know, how much, uh, how many achievements I have left and when I, um, yeah, last got an achievement and stuff like that. So uh, and I, in particular, this section I feel loads a lot faster now after they removed all the junk. So, so that's good. But, um, and I've been thinking about, you know, 
making some videos as well. Maybe I'll do it on this channel or a separate channel, but kind of my pursuit of, um, of completing a lot of these games too, because um, as you know, if you do trophies or uh, achievements on newer consoles, the, if you go back to 7th gen, it's much harder to complete these games than uh, it is on some of the newer stuff, right? And you can get thousand gamer score um, in five minutes on some of these newer games right so it's not much of a challenge um, but these ones you have to put in a little bit of effort and uh, that's probably why I have so many incomplete ones as well but um, it's always fun to look back and see the ones I've done and uh, so yeah I've been thinking about ways to kind of maybe record some difficult achievements or do some playthroughs and stuff but um obviously i want to make it fun and entertaining too not just uh here's like here's an achievement and here's a completion and then move on to the next kind of thing you know so uh but it's definitely still a lot of work to do here and um yeah it would be fun to do something like that but uh, but yeah it's cool that it's still still available to go in here as well they didn't take that uh away and you know you can still play your games offline as well and yeah so it's uh I think it's all good still, and it's definitely not dead, uh, as far as I see it, so. And then obviously this part still works too, you know, it's, uh, there's nothing wrong with this section right here, you know, and I always thought it was pretty cool that they added a whole Xbox One game, so like the newer, the newer gamer score that you had gotten and separated that out a little bit too, because, um, that's always fun to see, you know, how much, uh, how much you got before the newer consoles, so the newer gens came in, so. But yeah, and I loaded up a bunch of uh, completed games here recently because we're uh, we're doing a, a separate video for that. So that's probably going to come out later this month. Uh, so that's going to hopefully be a fun video to uh, to check out. So um, and there's one other thing here. I don't know. And I heard a lot of things about the redeem code and all the codes will be unusable and stuff afterwards. I I'd love to try one, um, whether it's like a 48 hour code or, you know, maybe it's a game that I had on just a, a code from before that I haven't redeemed yet so but um, I am not sure if this still works um, so yeah who knows uh, if any of you have tried it out yeah, definitely let me know in the comments but um, I don't know if I've watched every single video that's been posted lately about the new dashboard and everything but um, but it would be cool to try some stuff out but um, all right so that was it for that kind of little walk through there uh, I'm gonna jump into the games now and uh, I'm not gonna go through every single one because obviously I'd made a couple of videos uh, in the past that feel free to check those out they might not be as relevant anymore because you can't buy those games unless they're on disc but um, but you know there's some games that I uh, went through and other games I didn't get around to uh, but they were still kind of on my radar so just want to kind of go over that real quick there's no real review or anything like that of or recommendations for that matter it's just kind of seeing what i uh, got last minute um so i tried to focus on obviously the digital only and there were a couple of atlas games on here that um that i uh, didn't know much about but i was like yeah i should probably just uh, pick this up and uh, and play them but they all look like good games and they all look uh, interesting so um the first one was Abyss Odyssey right here. I think it's a platformer. Um, and then I'm going to have to like skip around a little bit here. And I did pick up uh, Alien Breed Trilogy. I think I'd mentioned that you can get it, get this physically. I think it's only in Europe. And I would say it's probably like 50 to 70 dollars, pounds. I'm not quite sure. But it's definitely not, uh, not as cheap as these ones were. At like $5 each. So I decided to pick them up. Um, I think a lot of people did unless they already owned them um and then i got uh, this guy right here so ancients of uga <laughs> and this one also had some dlc that i picked up for a couple of dollars and i think the game itself was like ten dollars so uh, and i think it was published by microsoft but yeah i'm not 100 percent sure but it was one of those um digital only games all right, so let's see. I did pick up Bastion. I know we can play this on Xbox One, but uh, I like playing games on the 360 as well, so uh, I'll just have to decide. And I, I actually found out later this is the the developer behind Hades, so I did not know that. So that should be uh, even more interesting. Uh, okay, so I got uh, yeah Blade Kitten. I don't think I'd mentioned this one, but I think it was like five dollars. Uh, very cheap, it's a platformer, and I think this company had made the Tie the Tasmanian Tiger games or something like that. So, 
So this was, uh, and I like platformers, so, you know, $5 was a uh, good price. Uh, I ended up getting Blood Drive. I know it's not that expensive physically, really, but uh, I think it goes like 30 to $40. But I was like, yeah, why not? I still had some points left over to spend as well. So I was like, okay, I just got that one. Uh, Bubble Bubble Neo, that one I did mention and should be fun to play in co-op. This one was like $10, I think. So yeah, should be, uh, should be fun. Uh, childhood favorite for sure. Uh, I bought this one, Caladrius. So this I think was a Japan only physical release um, and probably goes from like 60 to $80, I think. This was 20 digitally. So, uh, and it's like a shmup. So these games look like a lot of fun. So, and this was one that uh, was available, I think, uh, globally on, on this marketplace. So uh, it was definitely worth getting. Uh, Call of Duty Classic, I already owned from before, but I, I think I had recommended picking this one up because I think it only came out on like Windows and then it was remade for, um, or ported to the 360. And I think it's also available in the PS3 store still. So, uh, but it was like $20, but um, I think I bought it on sale a long time ago. Uh, Cars 3, I did, <laughs> I did pick up Cars. I had quite the quite the cars collection at this point, so um, yet I've only played one of the games, so that's kind of funny. Okay, I bought yeah I got Constant C. This is a platformer, around ten dollars I think it was not on sale, uh, and uh, it looked it looked good. I think it was recommended by one of the other channels. I can't remember which one now, but it was one that I had watched um, previously, so I, I did get this one. Uh, let's see, and then a lot of these I already talked about in uh, my previous video. A lot of these are pretty well-known games as well. All right, just moving on. Yeah, so I got Dogfight 1942 with the DLC. So the DLC was like a couple of dollars each, like $2.99 or something like that. So that was, uh, and it looks like a fun game. I don't really play a lot of the aerial combat games, but this one looked uh, looked pretty interesting. So, And it was cheap. The main game was very cheap, so... Uh, and for some reason, <laughs> I thought I owned Duke Nukem 3D, but I didn't, so I got this one as well. It's not backwards compatible, and I somehow had forgotten because I think most of the others were were made uh, backwards compatible. For some reason, this wasn't, so, uh, so I did grab it um, on, like, Sunday evening or Monday morning, whatever it was. Um, all right, some of these I've talked about. Yeah, Fatal Inertia, it's a little bit regrettably I did get this one, but seeing how high the price is for this game, it's uh, it's kind of crazy. So so I did get uh, this one for like $20. And again, I used some some points towards it, so I wouldn't feel so bad about it, I guess. But um, but I, I highly doubt the price on this physically will stay in the $100 range. That would be very, very strange. So, um, but I did I did get it. Uh, Fez, looking forward to playing this one as a platformer, and I think it's uh, kind of a 360 classic, um, so I can't believe I haven't played it uh, still, but I am looking forward to that one. Uh, I got Frogger. I think that this is the only, it was on sale, and it's the only Frogger game that's not backwards compatible, so, so I just uh, grabbed that one. All right, more stuff here. I think I talked about these ones. I got Guilty Gear. Uh, is it accent plus or something like that yeah so this is a fighting game contrary to this one which is not a fighting game so uh, i did get that one uh and here was a weird one i don't think i even mentioned this because i um it wasn't really on my radar until until recently so yeah hell yeah wrath of the dead rabbit i think it was i would say like from the void uh that mentioned this one uh in one of his videos and then uh I'd seen friends play it too, like a long time ago, and it just like it just clicked, and I was like, oh yeah, I should probably get this one, and that was a good recommendation because it looks like a really fun platformer. So, so that is, I got that one. I got Masquerade. This was one I'd mentioned, I think, in my first video, and it's also available on Xbox One. So, but I, I still felt like you know, again, what I said earlier, I like to play games on 360 as well, so I like to have options for sure. And also another one, yeah, I use points towards this too, but I did end up buying the DLC pack for Need for Speed Most Wanted. That's probably the most expensive DLC purchase besides Painkiller, I think. So, um, but I did recently start this and I'm having a good time with it. So at least there's that. Um, I got to uh, buy it and then play it. And then now I can 
100% completed if I want to. So that's uh, that's definitely a good uh, good feeling. So okay, Ninja Blade didn't they didn't even they couldn't afford a, a picture here. So that's kind of weird, but. Uh, I think I, yeah, I picked up Ninja Gaiden 3 DLC as well, which was also kind of pricey, but, uh, it is a series that I've been wanting to get into, and when I get around to it, then at least knowing that I can, uh, complete them, I know they're difficult games, obviously, but, uh, I don't mind the challenge one bit, so, but we'll, uh, we'll see, I think it has, like, online stuff as well. Um... Yeah, Rainbow Islands, also another game that I probably hadn't mentioned at all, but I did uh, grab this one. It's a platformer. Uh, okay. Res HD. I mean, I just saw this in a store um, the other day on the PlayStation 2, and it's like $50. So I think it was $10 here. So, uh, yeah, I, I did end up uh, buying this one. So uh, I've never played Res, but... I know that uh, there's some connection here with Child of Eden, which I played a little bit of, and I, I did enjoy that one, so so I'm sure I'll, I'll like this as well. So all the Street Fighter arcade ones. Uh, here's another interesting one, too, similar to the Caladrius. This was um, physical only in Japan as well, but it was like a $20 game, so I picked it up instead of having to spend 60 to 80 or 60 to 100 dollars on this game and it's another uh, shmup so um totally worth it to me at least um and um yep yeah skulls of the shogun we uh we actually grabbed this yeah as a <laughs> it was mostly for scroll not for me so yeah so uh we grabbed skulls of the shogun last minute uh, okay, let's see. Grab both the South Park games. I think a lot of people talked about these uh, these two, and I had them on the list. But yeah, I waited until last minute to get them, hoping that they would be half off or something. But still, I mean, they look fun, so um, so that's great. All right, let's see yeah, more Street Fighter, uh, Terraria. Yeah, we we did end up buying Terraria for some reason. Like we have it on disc, and it doesn't work when we put it on the three in the 360. So we bought the digital, and it loads up just fine. I don't know if it's just a problem with uh, the disc or, or whatnot, but uh, it just didn't work for us. So we decided to just buy it because uh, the household is pretty uh, yeah pretty big fan of this game. Same thing with Minecraft. I don't have it on here, but we bought a lot of Minecraft stuff too. So I'm sure that brings out a lot of memories. I'm sure. Uh, Under Defeat was another one that, um, I feel like this is probably like a Metal Jesus thing or something, but yeah, this was mentioned by multiple people, I think, and I had it on my wish list, and, uh, I did grab this one for like $20, same thing, I think this is not physical in North America, um, but it was in Europe and Japan, I think, so, and it's, it's quite, quite expensive, so I, I did get this one, um, based on that, and then it looks like a fun game too, so... Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I talked about this one in my first video. So yes, I grabbed it just for the heck of it. And uh, I I kind of want to make a video about this. I don't even know if uh, I've seen much gameplay of it. But I should probably check that out first before I do anything. But yeah, it's... Uh, I just I feel like I just had to get it. So that was funny. Uh, I got a couple of Worms games here. You can get these on disc as well. But... Uh, these ones I already mentioned, yeah, and I got Xenoclash games, uh, just for the Atlas part of it, and they look, uh, pretty interesting as well, so. So, yeah, that was pretty much it for what I got here, um, before the store closed, and yeah, like I said, I'm pretty happy with, uh, the purchases, and obviously I didn't get 222 games, a lot of these are installed disc games as well, so. Uh, but it's a good couple of handfuls of games that, um, that I hope you at least picked up a few of these before the store was removed. So, but yeah, it would be cool to hear from you guys in the comments um, on what you got and uh, and what you're looking forward to playing of those. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.